respect for him. And he doesn't like Putin either, by the way. It's all right. But we're not respected. We're not liked. And did you ever see us? I mean, do we get along with anybody? And we give our money away. We pay hundreds of billions of dollars to everybody. And they don't respect us. They don't respect us. Very interesting. China, in Business Week magazine, they had a piece. What do the Chinese most want? Now, who's tougher than the Chinese than me? I love the Chinese, but who's tougher than me? And you know one of the top ten things that they most wanted? Anything Trump. I say, I can't believe it. They want anything Trump, but only because they respect you. They have to respect you. So I will take care of the military. We will be so strong and so powerful that nobody's going to mess with us. We won't have to mess with us. Go ahead, with a book, great book. You take depressed properties in distressed areas I do. and turn them around. Right. The biggest things I got out of this thing. Right. We have a city called Detroit. Right, a disaster. Detroit is a disaster. It's a good shade on the Commodore. Yeah. So, what are we going to do to help those cities? I know we can bring them in the country. Yeah, why don't you t t try turning that on? It's, it's a good question, actually. He's talking about Detroit, which is a total mess. And it's Detroit, and it's Baltimore. It's plenty of cities. I mean, there are plenty of cities in the Detroit situation. Okay, so anyway. Uh, now what? <laughs> Sorry, he, he, I, I'll, I'll repeat you. Yeah. So we have to fix up our inner cities. Our inner cities are in shambles. People have lost their spirit. Let me tell you, when Obama got elected, I thought the one thing that really would happen is that he was going to be a great cheerleader for the country. I really did. I felt at least he'll be, I mean, we wanted Mitt to win, and unfortunately, Mitt let us down. I mean, look, we can all say he's a nice man, and he was, but he choked. Something happened to him. The last month, he disappeared. I promise you, folks, I will never disappear. I said, you know, Obama's on Jay Leno tonight. Obama's on David Letterman tomorrow night. Where is Mitt? And he just disappeared. I don't know what the hell happened to him. That was an election that should have been won. It should have been won. But I thought Obama would be a great cheerleader for the country. I really felt that and, you know, I just, it's so sad what's happened. So divisive. So divisive. He hasn't called the incredible parents of Kate, as an example. Kate is killed, he doesn't, he doesn't call him. Why wouldn't he call him? Why wouldn't he call him? I mean, it's such a, a massive event, and she's such an incredible person, and, you look, and he won't call her. I don't understand the whole thing. So, he turned out to be very divisive. We will bring people together. It's like what I tell you about the Nevada poll, where the Hispanics are voting for Trump. Everyone's shocked. Not, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. I'm gonna put people to work. And I have a lot of stuff. I have a great, successful building in Nevada. The tallest building in Nevada, if I say. Anybody want a reservation? Love you, man. <laughs>